Do you find your Magic the Gathering matches to be boring and lackluster, putting you to sleep on the battlefield? Have you run out of places to store all of your Magic cards? Does your lack of Commander Synergy haunt you in your nightmares? If so, then we have just the product to spice up your life. Hi, I'm Matt from Commander Cube, and I'm going to teach you how to take command of your MTG experience. Tired of buying booster packs? We're just gonna send them to you. Tired of making up new combos for your new commander decks? We're gonna send those to you too. Tired of buying stuff at your LGS? We're gonna send you cool stuff that you couldn't buy at your LGS, like token notebooks. And, well, you can get the, 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 the box at your LGS, but you can't get this soap. You can't get the soap at the LGS, and a lot of people at your LGS need this soap. You should probably share it. No, you probably shouldn't share it, but you can buy some more on our store and give it to somebody at your LGS. Make everything smell a little better like a forest. Commander Cube is built using cutting edge technology. Let's talk to our Commander Cube scientist and see what he has to say about the process. I'm a scientist. Say you were playing with a friend, or well he was a friend, until you stabbed him because he played this stupid combo. Blood on your playmat? Need to clean it up? Cops coming soon? Watch this, you're gonna love it. Boom, it's gone. Commander Cube, talk about a card combo. That's a get out of jail free card, friend. Alternatively, just spilled a little soda on your playmat because you're not a psychopath, not a murderer, not a problem. Just give it a little rub, boom. No jail time with that one either. You just spilled soda. Don't take my word for it. Listen to these other people that you don't know. Commander Cube is so easy, you don't even have to put on pants. That's awesome. I'm super excited for that. How did you get in my house? Commander Cube is the most original MTG subscription box on the market. You're telling me? that I can get a legendary creature with a curated commander pack in my choice of color or colors, booster packs, and custom sideboard items delivered to my door every other month for the low, low price of just $30? Sign me up! Look at the camera and smile. How's Call 1-800-COMMANDER-CUBE now to get signed up, or just use this link down below because they're telling me right now that that number does not exist. But wait! Act now, and you'll get even more than the packs, the cards, and the sideboard items. You get this guy. Bro. You're going to have to pay extra shipping for him, though. He's, he's you know, he's a human being. We're going to treat him as such. He goes in a nice box. Not a coffin, though. It's a nice box. Rob. <laughs>Welcome back to Co-op Core, everybody. Hello. Hey, we're back with special guest Matt. Woo! That's and me. Uh, we're here to play a very, very special game. <laughs> uh, you can go ahead and press start. Okay, let's do it. Uh, so Duelist Matt is in control. Roses. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duelist of the Roses on PlayStation 2. Do a new game here. <laughs> uh, so we are playing this uh, because today we filmed... Uh, another video for Matt's Kickstarter. Woo! Uh, if you guys have not heard about it, uh, here's Matt to give you a quick little yeah. thing. And so there's it, also a commercial before this episode. So yeah, you so you probably, probably already know, know a little is. bit about it. But, but I'll repeat it just in case. You know, kind of drill it into the brain. Uh, it's for Commander Cube. It's on Kickstarter, I guess, right now, probably. Uh, or if not, it's going to be on October 22nd, is uh, the planned launch date at uh, 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. Um, you can go ahead and find that. Uh, it's a bi-monthly subscription box uh, featuring Magic the Gathering cards. We're doing uh, custom card combos along with, um, you got uh, two packs from the standard set, uh, and then you got uh, some cool sideboard items that we're doing. We're having made Don't, exclusive for okay. our Okay, hold on a second. Our box. I want to put a pin in what you're talking about. Put a pin about. in that. What are we doing here? So, uh, to, to not gloss over the, the plot here, uh, so this is in like the 1400s in England I or mean, in Europe. And, uh, Yami Yugi has existed since so, forever. So, so, well, the story of Yu-Gi-Oh is like in ancient Egypt, but they were like Original. the the Yorks are in the lead of like the, securing power for everybody, and like this guy Henry the whatever whatever the hell is named Richard uh, is like he's he, he's gonna become <laughs> the king of everything. Dude. And then they say, and then there's this guy who's the heir to the Lancaster throne. His name is Yami, and then in parentheses it says Henry Tudor. <laughs> like that's who this is but supposed to be. His friends guys. call him Yami. <laughs> that's. I mean, you get nicknames like that. Oh yeah, right? totally. Yeah. Oh hi, my actual yeah. name's Bill, uh, but my name's uh, Takashi. <laughs> <laughs> the Lancastrian forces were rendered powerless by ancient cards of sorcery wielded by 
Seto, <laughs> and his seven followers, who, known as the Rose Crusaders, served under the flag of Lord Crawford, a powerful Yorkist nobleman. This is this is a Yu-Gi-Oh fan fiction. This There's has to be. no way this is not a Yu-Gi-Oh fan fiction. Are you kidding me with this? I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh is already surreal. Yeah. Like, like, and a, this a, is a even more surreal. Game. But fucking, like, th this is the Lancasters Rosen and the Cruz. Yorks. The, the, the Duel of the Roses. That's, like, a super famous thing. <laughs> but they just, like, s they, they just throw these characters in and are like, yeah, he's kind of like this one guy. <laughs> Margaret Mai Buford. <laughs> of Lancaster. Buford. Secretly requested a high druid to summon a duelist from another age. From another like, age. Right? And now there's time travel in this. Oh, this of course there is. This is the most fan fiction Oh, my God. Ever. Who are we summoning? It's happening well, <laughs> right now. <laughs> so I've, I always thought that the king of fan fictions was Sonic. Like, oh, Sonic yeah. the Hedgehog fan fictions are Make legendary. Make your own Sonic character. But look at this. Hello, Simon McMoron. <laughs> McMoron. Oh, it said Moorin. Oh. <laughs> Summoned from the Circle of White and Red was one capable of harnessing pure power. There was truth in the legend of the Rose Duelist. Oh, shit. <laughs> I have a feeling. <laughs> I'm wearing a shirt with roses on it right now. Are, what? No. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I... Is that what that is? I feel like I'm my character sure would be. Space things. Because he is the Rose Duelist. Oh my god. I, I love everything Let's about this. Okay, so we're going to give ourselves What's a name. A ludicrous name. Well, you got to start with a hashtag. Oh, oh. Because we're, is there we're really, from another Oh my god, age. there is a freaking hashtag yeah, in here. Yeah, so we're from the age of Twitter. <laughs> hashtag, uh... Um... Oh, let's, let's call ourselves Rosie, but with... <laughs> But with a dollar sign. <laughs> Rosie, because it's all about the dollar bills. And a one and a three. Oh my god. No, let's not go that no, no, far. No, 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 no. It's locked in. You press start right now. <laughs> oh, done. <laughs> Hashtag Rosie. Rosie. Hashtag Rosie. <laughs> da, 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 da. He's just like, oh, a, a fine name a indeed. fine name. <laughs> Unspeakable, but yes, fine name. All right, so here, it's not... Stay with me. Right. It's 1485, and we're in Stonehenge near Salisbury, England. You mean like the steak? Yeah. The, the British, British Empire, Empire is in turmoil. Like his royal claim to the throne being challenged by the Yorkist <laughs> usurpers. You know what? Like, like as Those far as Yorks. Like, as far as like this story goes so far, like I'm okay with it. But what the fuck is his outfit and anything? It's got like a praying mantis on top. It's pretty rad. Yeah, but I'm like, what the hell does this have to do with England or? But anything? also, why is he blue? Yeah, I don't know. Well, because if he was green, he would die. That's probably. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the Yorkists enjoy the support of the Rose Crusaders There's and their sorcerers. White Rose cards. Sorceress White Sorceress Rose. Sorceress White Rose cards. And these Red Rose cards summon you. Hashtag, Hashtag Rosie. Rosie. To this day and age. <laughs> we hope that your dueling experience would defeat the Rose Crusaders and lead us to victory. How about I just tell you about guns? <laughs> They're slightly more effective than magical cards. Of course cards. you will. For him, for him, not even loyal to the right, like he doesn't even give you the option. Rose and Crusaders. Yeah. Oh, I mean, he summoned you from another time period. You're doing what he says. <laughs> like, what if you got summoned? Oh, the rules differ. Yeah, <laughs> this duel is going to be a little different, guys. Here in England, dueling is government mode. This one is a perfect rule. Why, if it's so perfect, why aren't we using it in our time? Well, well okay, I guess maybe so, we're supposed to be from the past. So, I kind of wish that it was kind of like this a little bit. I played this game. I had this game when I was a kid. This is actually like my personal copy. Um, and I used to play this with my brothers. Uh, and this game, and you're gonna see it in a minute. Um, for no, absolutely not. Don't Do not play, play practice, practice duel. duel. I did a practice duel to familiarize myself before we did the the show, uh, and it took me almost an hour to do the tutorial because it, it it's on a rail so like you can't it tells you like oh press x but like it doesn't care what you do it does it on its own time oh wow um but there's so much involved with this game which is kind of cool uh but this game is incredibly dated and amazing uh but it's a card it, it's a trading card game uh so we thought what better game to celebrate you know launching a a, commander cube a trading kickstarter, card a trading kickstarter, card yeah. kickstarter than by playing a trading card game yeah and they don't really have like Magic the Gathering, like games, like they do have it, they but have it's, few, it, but it's they literally like it's literally this just the card game. Yeah. Oh like, yeah. Like, yeah like, it's literally just straight playing the card yeah, game. Yeah. So, this so you guys nice are gonna see. Yeah. This is adventures. gonna be a little different than the card game. Uh, what, what he was just saying, explaining. So you have deck leaders in this, yeah. which is like your. You can feel their vibrations. Oh my god. To make sure you get the right one. You know what? One. I just realized. Yeah. You have commanders in this. And this has deck leaders. That's actually a Holy good shit. I, I we didn't do that. That was on an purpose. accident. <laughs> I am legit like I just discovered this right now. And okay. I already played this earlier today. <laughs> okay, I gotta I gotta choose my deck leader. Yeah, okay, so commander. Oh what? You got different choices than oh, I got. Oh thank god the text is so legible. Yeah, alright, so we have Maiden of the Aqua. 
Uh, Air, Air Knight, Knight Parshath. Parshath. It sounds pretty That British. sounds like from Magic the Gathering. And Wolf, Wolf Axe Wielder. Axe Wielder. Ooh, I don't know. All right. So and and then they, they have like main attributes. Would I, I mean yeah. it's kind of like magic. So you got like water yeah, and dark. Stuff, yeah. That's light green, black and blue. So it's all over the fucking Four place. Four color commander. We could do. That. Uh, and then we have black, uh, blue and dark. So I, I think it's earth, water and, and yeah, darkness. Yeah, and I that's think, just I think water I'm and go, darkness. Hmm. I don't want to go. Well, this has a lower summon level. So she's probably got a little bit more ramp. You're gonna get your stuff out on the field. I'm gonna go with her. Okay, yeah. The water and dark. That sounds good. And I, I like our name's Rosie. The best. So that makes sense. We should be a female. Rosie, we should be. We should pick the girl. All right. Ah, I see you selected your deck. All right. <laughs> mm. So that's the effect of the Celtic Red Rose card. This is like my favorite part of the game right here. Mm, the Red Rose capable of time <laughs> transformation. Who's there? <laughs> oh, it's set up. It's been uh -oh. some time since the Battle of Barnet, old one. Oh, man, I feel Simon McMurrin's gonna die. All right, all right, all right. Y you be Simon, and I'll be Seto. <laughs> all right? Yeah. Only a member of the Rose Crusaders may call me by that name. If you may recall, I told you once before that you may only address me as Seto. Or does memory fail you, old man? And you, you must be the dreaded Rose Duelist. I must admit, there's a certain aura of power emanating from you. I believe an introduction is in order. I am Seto, leader of the Rose Crusaders. There are members of our little group who prefer to call me by the name of K Rosen Cruz. <laughs> I ask you again, what brings you here, Seto? I just gave him a that, that was good. I like that. He's Mind your manners, old man. He <laughs> called him old man. I, I couldn't tell he was old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really, we only know that he has blue eyes. <laughs> what else would bring me here? I've come for the red rose cards. After all, it was you who showed me how the summoning capabilities would evolve when the red rose cards are combined with the transport powers of the white rose cards. This is this is textbook <laughs> fanfic because they're introducing so much so, shit that you have no idea about. <laughs> you aren't thinking of attempting the forbidden rose summoning? If so, then the red rose cards must never fall into your evil hands. Card sorcery taps into the powers of the ancient ones. By their very nature, each card is double-edged sword that can cut both ways is a double-edged sword. Yeah, I mean, you probably you, meant to you say. You don't want to get cut by cards. Those paper the cuts <laughs> suck. <laughs> the four paper cuts <laughs> all, on all edges. The rose cards alone harness tremendous power. There's no telling what horrors one might unleash to the world by combining both red and white. Probably pink. We, we could get pink cards. Oh. Imagine the world. <laughs> I'll be sacrificing my own life if need to prevent them from uttering the spell of doom. I like that it's called the spell of doom in quotes. Like, that's the Best also, I like how he points with. out that he's just gonna die right now. <laughs> the spell of doom? Fool! The 16 red and white rose cards grant power overall. Druid legend has twisted the true meaning of these cards. We rose crusaders have sworn to create a utopia free from the ravages of war. We intend to accomplish this with the power of the cards. And we shall do so by extending the rule of Richard III throughout the known <laughs> world. <laughs> They didn't even put third, yeah, or the just third, three. Nope. or like Roman numerals. <laughs> Nothing. Richard three. <laughs> Richard version three. <laughs> By the way, it was clever of you to form a circle of red roses within the white rose barrier to summon the rose duelist. But you were foolish to come alone. This area is surrounded, and if you wish to leave with your life, you will do so only by handing over the red rose cards. Me? A fool? Then what about you? <laughs> Are you fool enough to actually believe the Red Rose cards would remain here in my possession? Right after the summoning, I had the cards dispersed among our best duelists to keep them from your tainted hands. Timmy, How did he do that? <laughs> yeah, he's like, Timmy, we the just kid. got here, picked a deck, <laughs> and then true. suddenly... That is true. Time passed. <laughs> then you leave me with but one option. I shall enlist the aid of your precious Rose Duelist. You take <laughs> leave of real. your senses. <laughs> Do I have to choose a side? And you speak too soon, old man. Heed my words, duelist. If you wish to return to your proper time period, you will require 16 cards of the red and white roses. The red and white positions must be laid out in reverse of the summoning order to send you home. At least that kind of... That's the only you thing that makes sense in this kind spell. of... <laughs> Since you need the 16 rose cards just as much as we do, I propose a partnership. Help us gather the cards and I shall guarantee your return after we've achieved our ultimate goal. 
An absurd proposal. Do you think that the honorable hashtag Rosie would even <laughs> lend, an, lend an ear to your ridiculous proposal? I love how like 90s the text hashtag is written Rosie. that oh like every exclamation has at least three at exclamation least three. points. Can you be so sure, old man? It has to have three. Let me see. Simon's side has eight of the red rose cards, while my side, the Rose Crusaders, has possession of the eight white rose cards. As the numbers are even, simple arithmetic indicates that you could side with either of us. But I'm sure you'll take into account who's winning this war. After all, who is desperate enough to summon you in the first place? I think it's quite clear which side is better positioned to send you home. It's a ha ha hashtag. Ha hashtag. Oh, he's stuttering. Hashtag. <laughs> hashtag Rosie. Need not the heed not the words of this power-hungry lunatic. Simon, must you resort to name calling? I'm hurt. I'll tell you what. Why don't we leave the decision to our dear duelist? After all, Simon, the duelist's future is not for us to decide now, is it? Well, yes, but... Splendid! In keeping with the tradition of the old temple gardens, I offer you a choice, duelist. Here are two roses. The white represents me, and the red for old Simon here. For the sake of justice, choose the red rose. Stand by my side, duelist. Choose the white rose. Yeah, you gotta fucking pick what side you are in this. Can I be evil or good? What do I, I'm, I'm gonna pick the old man because I feel like that's the right thing to do. Yeah? I I, I chose I chose kind of. Chose, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> God, How such a dick in the show. <laughs> How disappointing. Oh well, you made your choice and I respect that. For now, I will guarantee your safe passage until you've met with Yugi. After all, I don't want our little game to end too quickly. That wouldn't be sporting. I look forward to the day when we meet again, duelist. Until then. I love his armor. So what happens if you pick the other team? Like, okay, so so you so have to when, hunt down the red rose people and yes, yeah, so, so in this slaughter game, them you, for their cards? like this is the overworld map. So you go through the map and oh shit, I don't remember this. Because you picked white. Yeah, I just don't remember there being a cutscene about I like, anything. I like this jazzy. Yes, yeah, smooth jazz. Setting the Am mood I for Matt and I. <laughs> Hashtag Rosie, I present Prince Yugi, last prince of Lancaster, a true Welshman and a hope who we call ourselves Celts. My lord, I present you Hashtag Rosie, the Rose Duelist. You serve us well, Simon. My mother was wise in summoning you from Scotland. Oh, I should have been Scottish the whole time. <laughs> you honor me, sire. Duelist, I am Yugi. Actually, Henry Tudor is my name, <laughs> but, but I, I find, find it tiresome. <laughs> oh, Henry Tudor is so long. Yeah. Just, Two syllables, please. You may call me Yugi. I'm sure Simon explained our situation, but it's only right that I request your services myself. I need you to return to England and put an end to the threats of the Rose Crusaders. Their white rose cards form a barrier that prevents my armies from setting foot on British soil. Although we Celts have the red rose cards, we are but inheritors who are unable to wield their full power. In the hopes of reversing our fortunes, we gambled on a druid legend that spoke of a rose duelist. According to the same legend, one of us, no, one must use a deck who cost, whose cost is lower than the opponent's to capture a rose card of another color. It, it's like it's very specific it's and current for specific. a legend, right? <laughs> very specific. Like it, it's pretty, it's pretty presumptuous that they would use the same system. Oh yeah, of course. Centuries later, I believe that is important. That it is important that you keep this in mind. The cost of your deck should not exceed the cost of your opponent's deck. I would like you to note that our resources have impressed to the limit, requiring us to invade. England by August. <laughs> Where are we? When are we now? <laughs> My troops will land in Milford Haven, Wales, and march on to face the enemy at Bosworth Field. Having all of the Rose Crusaders out of commission by this time would be ideal, but as that might prove difficult, any reduction of their force would be appreciated. Right then, let us part company and reunite in Bosworth. Simon will provide you with the details as to where and when we'll meet once more. He's just gonna come up with weird names every time you see him. Yep. <laughs> Henry Tudor and Yugi were uh wait, 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 was it Yugi that he told you to call you? Yeah, he no he told he yeah, told he us to call him Yugi. Yugi. Yeah. But he's Yami. He's Yami Yugi. Yeah. But his name's still Yugi. I guess, but nobody ca everybody called him Yami, I guess, in, in, in the thing. Choose a destination. Okay, I can so go Rex wrapped. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, so, so classics so, here. So if you chose the good guys, you go through and you fight all the all the antagonists from the show. 
as their like mm. Battle of the Roses counterparts. If you chose Kaiba, you fight all the good guys. Oh my god. Yeah, which is pretty interesting. Uh, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take a break here before we get to our first duel. Um, who are we gonna, duel? Who are we gonna duh, choose? Duh. Only time will tell. Dinosaurs or bugs? See you next time, guys. Yeah. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe. Click the button. It's somewhere. It's like down here, maybe over there. I don't know what you're doing. It's somewhere. Subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. Do the thing. Share it with your friends. Tell them. Tell your friends. They're people. They need to know. They need to. They could get the same thing that you're getting. You could have the thing. They could have the thing. You could both do the thing. You could. Yeah.